Good morning. For today's video, we're going to take a look at uh, file handling uh, within the Thani editor. The Thani uh, editor is the uh, chosen editor for working with the Raspberry Pi Pico. It's actually quite nice. It's got some cool features built into it, most of which I don't use as much as I should. It's a wonderful tool. It's a tool that should be used. So I thought maybe some of the other uh, people out there aren't using it as well either. So I thought, let's spend a little time talking about some of these features inside this editor. Uh, now, by now, if you've been working with uh, Thani and uh, Raspberry Pis, uh, you're pretty much used to your file open, and then you can either select from the computer, or if you got your Pico, uh, connected to the computer, you can select your Pico. So uh, just to show that here real quick, uh, we're going to use this, which is another example uh, that I'll be talking about in another video. Um, but here you've got this uh, program. Let's say you've been working on it. You're good with it inside the Pico. Now you want to save a copy of it. Um, oftentimes in the normal computer world, we would use save as, and that would allow you to save it with a different file name. And you can certainly do that. But if you're saving it off to, uh, say, uh, a network a location in your within your home or uh, just off to the main computer that you're working with, uh, save copy is a little more streamlined because that'll just put a copy out there and then it won't change the... Uh, the file name or location of the open program in your editor. So if I just do save copy and I'll say this computer and for this project I'm calling my folder on my uh, server uh, Thani Tips and we'll save it here. I've already got it saved there but I'm just going to go ahead save and replace the one that's there. And that's probably something you've been doing. Now, there is another function or a file manager built into uh, Thani that makes our job a lot easier, especially working with the Pico where we've got files there, and then we've got files off on the main computer. And then where it gets even more tricky is if we are working with a digital display and we want to display a JPEG file. Well, getting that from that external source into the Pico gets to be more and more of a challenge, as do other types of files. So let's explore that a little bit. I'm up here on the View menu. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, View menu. Um, looking for files. There it is, Files. We'll click that. That'll open up a dialog over here on the left. This computer is my... Uh, server directory for uh, where I do a lot of my uh, Pico stuff. These are all the files in that directory. And then Thani Tips is where we just were when we saved that last file. Now, if I want to, I can scroll up. Let me get that so it's just sitting on the screen here. Go the right way. It'll be a lot easier. We'll go up come down a little more. Okay, now I can say from here, right-click on it, open in Thani, or upload to. Uh, this will overwrite, this one will overwrite the plot sign that's currently in the Pico. And that was the upload. So I'm going to say, okay, go ahead. So now it uploaded it from my network straight into the Pico by doing that. Uh, also here, I can right-click on one and say delete. I don't need that file. And that deleted it out of the Pico. Uh, same thing with this guy. Uh, delete. Uh, here we go. I could also uh, do a download to V, which is the same as the other routine that we just showed you. So... Uh, you can create new files, new directories, uh, download, show hidden, uh, uh, configure. You can do a lot of file operations here, but what I've found for my application, it's open, is the one that I usually use most. Um, or if I need to work on it within the Pico, I would download to uh, the Pico or from here, download into or upload to the Pico. Uh, and then here, going back, I would download to the network drive. Uh, but that's how I would uh, move my files back and forth. 
And then if I try, uh, let's say I want to bring a graphic file in. I'm going to be doing some work on a, uh, another graphic display here in uh, coming months. And I believe somewhere in one of these I should have a graphic file. Uh, there's a PNG file. So I'll right click on that. Let's say that's something that from the Pico we're going to display on that graphic display. So upload to takes a bit. This is a pretty big file, much bigger than that display will show. Uh, and there it is. It's in our Pico right now. So this file manager really uh, allows you to do more uh, and more, more work and more ability to do things, uh, especially with uh, files that aren't native, .py files and so forth. Uh, so I would recommend if you haven't been using this uh, function here of Thani, give it a try, play around with it a little bit so you get familiar, and I got a hunch you'll uh, start using it far more frequently. As you, if you're a, a longtime viewer of my Pico series, you'll notice I've always got that hidden. And in truth, I don't always have it open, but uh, it, it does take up more screen space. So uh, I have a number of my viewers that keep wanting me to put bigger fonts on everything, so I'm running out of desktop. But uh, nonetheless, uh, I think it's another great feature of Thani, and I hope you give it a shot. That'll wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.